the karma, uh, like the three types of karma, which is like the Sanchit karma, which is the collection of infinite lifetimes. We also discussed about the product karma, which is like a portion or a subset of the infinite lifetimes. And we also have discussed about the Agami karma, which is uh, the free will of the current birth. So Agami karma, and we also have Kriyaman karma. So they, that's the free will that we have. And I have accumulated certain uh, diagrams of fractals uh, where you can see like uh, the fractal is like, if you just focus uh, into the tiny part, it is similar to the entire picture. So our life just goes again and again, like round and round as fractals. And you will see fractals everywhere in nature uh, once you start focusing. If you go out to nature, every plant has got fractals uh, combination in it. Everything like from a seashell or inside our body, if you go into uh, the cells and everything, everything will be looking as a fractal. So I think we mentioned about the microcosm and the macrocosm. They both look exactly the same. So that is the concept of uh, karma, rebirth, and fractal. And we had, uh, so the con there are a few concepts in Vedas which we were, which uh, uh, have been mentioned, like no two individuals are same. So Vedas say that each one of us is unique. So no two people think exactly uh, like the same. So my thinking would be completely different than your thinking or your understanding and everything. So there would be, even if like the twins, they will have different, uh, uh, you know, so everyone is unique. That's what Vedas say. The second thing Vedas say is nothing is uh, stable in the universe. Everything is moving. Even if we think that it is uh, stable, if we uh, look from a very high level, everything is moving. And the third is everyone is searching for happiness. And the fourth one is like, everyone does things for gaining happiness uh, because we think that we are lost because of Maya and we are looking for happiness. So these are a couple of concepts for Vedas. There's also another concept called as Karta and Karan. So for every Karta, which is a doer, there is a Karan, there is a cause. And that creates this fractal of that creates this infinite fractal. So for example, uh, there is fire, fire can burn a uh, forest, but then the forest again regrows. So there is always a karta and there is always a karan and these are like a chain. They keep on uh, and every karan creates another karta, every karta creates another karan and it just goes round and round and they form a fractal. So these are the things that we discussed in the last um, um, episode. Do you have any?